Good morning, artists. Mrs. Keitel here. Today we're going to be doing some really brief but important watercolor techniques, skills. Um, that was a mouthful. Excuse the bell. Um, but what I've been noticing from a lot of my 7th and 8th graders is that we're not having the proper paintbrush techniques used. Um, that's how we keep our bristles nice. That's how we keep our supplies um, lasting as long as possible so that as many students can get use out of them as possible. So today we're just going to really briefly get that reminder, get that refresher of how we should be treating and using our watercolor supplies. Now of course everyone will start out with a paint palette. You'll need a water cup, a paintbrush. I have a round and a square headed brush here and I also have a paper towel for myself to dab dry. Um, also sometimes if you make a little mistake with watercolors you can quickly dab it up a little easier when you have that um, paper towel at hand. So the main things that we want to go over are how to properly use the brush, how to clean the brush, and then how to return the brush clean and ready for the next person. So remember that with any kind of watercolor paints, um, you just need to hydrate them to get them started. Now I wanted to use two different sets of paints here because I wanted to show that all paints are good paints. So the paint set on the right is a little more clean, the colors aren't quite as muddy, but that does not mean it is better or um, superior to the other palette. We got to understand that some artwork gets messy and when we are using supplies that are shared, sometimes we kind of get what we get, but it's all going to get the job done. Now once you have those paints hydrated, remember that you are always focusing on using the tip of the paintbrush. Whether you're trying to get paint or out of the palette or put paint on your paper, we should always be using the very tip. We should be doing gentle strokes. We should be thinking about how we want our paint to interact with our paper. It is not a great idea to push down on your brush. When you give that much pressure to the bristles, it starts to break them and the um, inside binding within the middle. So you got to make sure even if you want those big textural or long lines that you're not pushing down all the way and the same goes within the paint. You're going to end up scooping up more paint than you need. So as you're painting, of course, we're getting the colors that we need, we're being mindful of how much pressure that we're putting with our brush, and we're treating everything as if we are sharing it with others. So make sure that you are being respectful to those supplies. Now when you're ready to clean your brush, you're going to swish the brush in the bottom. If you make contact with the bottom of your water cup, it can give you just a little bit of that friction to clean the cup, and then you're going to wipe that excess or dab that excess water away. The tap, 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 tap stuff, it might be fun a couple times, but what you're going to end up doing is splattering paint where you don't intend it to be, and if you're close to someone else, it might end up on their work as well. Not to mention, that can be a little distracting to others who are trying to poke it. So make sure when you're cleaning that brush, get it nice and clean from the bottom to the top, and then wipe it out. Okay. Now when we're done using paints in the art room, we always want to leave our paint trays open and flat. And we keep them open and flat so that they can dry properly. Sometimes if we leave the lids closed and stack them, then some of the paints do not dry and it gets too saturated and then we use too much at a time. So when we allow it to dry properly, then they'll last longer and last, well, pretty much until the, the palettes are empty of that color. When you would be done, you would return your paints again, open and flat. You would dump your water cup out in the sink, get your brush put in the proper location where it would be labeled by the sink, and wipe up any excess spots on your table that might need some attention. But all in all, we're remembering that we're treating supplies with respect, especially in regards to our watercolor painting. We want to make sure we're using the brush correctly and cleaning correctly. Thanks for listening, y'all. Enjoy your watercolors.